because I was convinced, having travelled to many parts of the state, having met with uh, many families, and, uh, Rhett and Cassie and Cooper are here uh, today, Logan's here as well, he's been giving us a bit of a soundtrack to our um, press conference today. I was convinced by their experience that uh, medicinal cannabis works, that medicinal, medicinal cannabis uh, really is, is such an effective and life-saving treatment therapy for so many families, particularly those who've got infant, uh, infants that uh, really have very poor quality of life and their lives are threatened through rare forms of uh, fitting um, other, uh, neuro other neuro neurological, neurological uh, conditions, epilepsy and others. That convinced us that we needed to drag this law into the 21st century. It convinced us that no parent should ever have to choose between saving their child's life and breaking, breaking the law. That is not a choice that we should make any parent make. Uh, to that end, within just a few weeks of us coming to government, we sent to the Victorian Law Reform Commission a reference to legalise the use of these, uh, for these uh, medicines, and that's exactly what they are, uh, for those who suffer a terminal illness and those who suffer a life-threatening uh, condition. That's really important work. That work will be back to us uh, for important deliberations about changing the law by the end of August. 